and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be going through how to improve as a sub machine gun player this is going to be incredibly important as we head into black ops 6 there's going to be a lot of difference in terms of the way the game's played the pacing and I, I do believe this game will be a lot more catered towards the smg role the smg player so we're going to go through some important things i want you guys to work on as you prepare for it number one is going to be your movement okay movement is the most important things as an smg player now when i say movement that doesn't mean being incredibly flashy for no reason okay i want you guys to think about sports like nba or football wherever you guys watching think of like skill moves or whatever you want to call it right you don't need to just use it for the sake of it but if you can use it to be effective that's where it really becomes important and i look at movement in the same way i don't look at movement as in being incredibly flashy for no reason i look at it as being efficient that's the key word i wanted you guys to kind of take in is being efficient with your movement now as you approach gunfights as you get into these areas i want you to start using and utilizing different movements to get used to it especially especially with omni movement being in the game it's incredibly important to be more comfortable with your right stick your left stick your slides your dolphin knives just the whole kind of package will be tested in black ops 6 as you rank up so when you're using movement there's different things you want to do and i think the first thing is just to get comfortable with using any sort of movement and we can be a bit more picky as we go along right so for now as you're getting into gunfights i want you to use some sort of movement this is really important i want you to notice right now okay as we approach this gunfight here what we don't do is we don't jump out into the open or slide out and not be ready for the gunfight do you notice how when we're sliding we land at the edge of this wall what we're essentially doing is we're trying to slide cancel but we're trying to land at the edge of the tank that way when we cancel our slide we are ready for the gunfight so look what we do we cancel our slide and now you can see my crosshair is almost perfect we're ready for the gunfight and my opponent is still sprinting so now i end up killing him because i get the first shot he reacted really fast but because i got the first shot off i was able to kill him instantly reposition we back away and now i'm gonna wait i can hear him on my right i don't see him on my left so i expect him to push me and this is where you slow down we don't need to worry about movement because he's going to push us we work on our centering our centering alone we go through and we get the second kill so you want to combine movement with efficiency and you're going to get the perfect result the perfect blend to improve as an smg player and you saw it right there in abundance nice movement at the start then we took our time we let him come towards us okay that's all it's about is being efficient we go we're going through we get another kill we're sliding across every time we go around these corners and we're trying to like camera someone or anything like that we're always able to kind of add movement with efficiency just to be just to be annoying okay the next thing i want you guys to do is think about your role on the team you are basically the entry player when you're a sub you are supposed to be the most aggressive player you're supposed to be the opening player you're supposed to be the one that's kind of cleaning up the kills playing off angles being annoying i want you guys to think of hydra abizi shotzi okay those type of players and what their role is high impact aggressive players that dictate the map okay your ars are your sentry guns behind you we went through this yesterday your ars are your, your sentry guns behind you but what we just did now look at that we get two we flank the third we kill him and then we kill the fourth being impactful messing up your opponent's uh position just being annoying right now look what we do we can take our time we're gonna jump across information we get the first one we jump across we get the second one we're just being incredibly annoying we're delaying their pushes right now we get one instantly we turn around we use a grenade we're gonna push through and we're just being impactful we're holding the hill we're cutting the lanes going through different angles using our movement look at that a nice little three piece okay so it's never just about running around the map being like a headless chicken you need to use what you have now a lot of people think oh with a rival you can't really beam right now you're going to see exactly how you can beam we go through we center perfectly and then from there it's all about recoil control once we centered we get some shots off and we control the recoil perfect stuff there okay so you just want to make sure even in this situation here we're in a really bad spot he's looking at us we're going to go into the building we're going to finesse we're going to jump across get a shot off now we're going to slide through and finesse him so you want to kind of have a good balance of shooting and movement and finessing and all of that. So the way you can practice it, honestly, is just play some rank play. You just start machine gun. Every time you get aggressive and go for a kill, I want you to watch the kill cam. And I want you to see from your opponent's POV, two things. One, did you deserve to die? Was it a gunfight where you probably should have won, but you just didn't execute? Or was it a gunfight where you simply got outplayed and you deserve to die? And when I say that, I mean like you didn't camera the corner or you didn't do this or you didn't do that where he outplayed you right because if that's the case you need to see and what did he do differently to you and you can start to learn when you're watching the pros what do they do differently why are they so impactful as we go into black ops 6 at the start of the game one thing you're going to realize and learn is your timings okay timings is incredibly important because sorry i think it cut off there i'm not gonna lie i was mid-sentence and my mic cut out but we're just gonna carry on um i forgot my chain of thoughts but we're just gonna carry on we're gonna carry on um the next thing i wanted to talk about again i completely forgot what happened there but it's all good i was trying to fix my mic 
Next thing I want to talk about is just your pacing, okay? When you're playing as an SMG player, you're that entry role. I think I briefly mentioned it earlier, like, about being that entry role, but this is going to sum it up perfectly. There is no need for an AR player to be sitting where I am now. This is more for your Hydras, your Beezies. Being this aggressive in the spawn, we get one, instantly reposition. Get one, reposition, read the other spawn. This is a perfect example, okay? What you're seeing is we get the first kill, and then we're going to back away. Let's go through that again. In this scenario, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to cut lanes as an SMG and exactly why you need to do it. We go through and you see we get the first player. So once you get the kill, this is really crucial. In rank play, there's no suppressors. Whoever's on the enemy team, they're going to see this red dot and react to it. Okay, I'm in a crimson lobby. They're going to react to the red dot. So it's up to me to kind of imagine where do I expect the opponents to be? Right now, I expect the other opponents to be on my left. So straight away, I slide cancel and I'm prepared for the gunfire. They're not going to be ready because they think I'm going to still be where I came from. We go through where we're to get the second kill so right there i didn't really read it correctly i should have shot him but in that moment i was a little bit fast paced and i didn't really realize i ended up backing away i probably should have shot him there but we end up repositioning baiting him in and getting the kill a little bit longer than it needed to be i definitely could have killed him earlier but it still worked out okay you just want to make sure that you're using the weapon to its advantage right now we're cutting the lanes we take our time we watch the right we see one we get the kill go through not the best shots there but we go through and now it's about pinching the opponent so look at the mini map he's on my left we go across okay right now let's look at the mini map together where could they be coming from well they're probably coming through the right hand side based on my teammates where they are just to confirm it look at my teammate he just spawned on the left so now i know for a fact they're on the right we go through we go across we're going to watch this area we're going to slide cancel and we get the one now we get the one i'm looking at the mini map i'm like okay i think they're going to come through the other side again because no one's watching it so we go through, we pick it up. Again, looking at the minimap, slide past him, we get the second. All about cameraing your opponent, sliding past them, being impactful, not taking gunfights that you don't have the favor to. I'm not just challenging ARs on headies. No, I'm being very smart with my gunfights. I'm being very clinical the way I'm approaching it. And I'm being very, very annoying. I'm going behind them, cutting the lanes, and I'm just being aggressive. I'm just making sure that I'm ready for the gunfight. That's the crucial thing here. So we take out one, slide cancel, get the second. Adding movement is just such a nice and fancy way to play. Right now, again, I wouldn't be here with an AR. There's no way I'd be here with an AR. I would simply be watching over my teammates on the head glitch, trying to beam them off. But with a sub, I get aggressive. I'm able to work the timings out. You see, we're taking our time. We're waiting, we're waiting. We spot the fourth. He jumps across. We get the flank. So you're completely changing your play style with an AR or a sub. You just want to make sure you're utilizing the weapon the way it's supposed to be. We're cutting lanes. We're being aggressive. And we're just making sure we're not just sitting in a corner in our spawn. No, we're being impactful. And this really is a perfect example. I'm not going to be here with an AR. I'm going to be on the head glitch on the hill watching this area. But with a sub, we get this kill. Reposition reposition after every kill for me is the most crucial thing when i watch someone like shotzi do it he's incredible at it i always think repositioning is really effective we're going to close it with this clip here we're going to take out the first player as soon as we take him out now we're going to turn around center onto the second and kill him i want you to notice now what we do we don't back away we don't go to a head glitch no we go forward and we cut the lanes i know where they're spawning on the left window so we're going to go through we're going to get across once again how do i approach this i know they're on the right we slide cancel as we slide we center onto the right Perfect placement. We get the third and we get the fourth basically in front of us. In this next hit, we're going to go through and you'll see the same thing. We take out one, we go across and we're going to use movement here. I know he's on the right hand side. So this is where you can be a bit more mobile and agile with your SMG. We get the first player. I know the second's there. We go for a drop shot and we go for another one. Just using movement allows you to get a lot more kills, a lot more mobility in your game and really impactful as an SMG. And that's exactly why we use it. We go across once again as an AR. I wouldn't be here, but with a sub, yes, I would. I'll be aggressive. I'll be annoying to play against. I'll be in their face. Faces. I'll be breaking hills. I'll be watching the spawn. I'm just literally being all over their spawn, being annoying, cutting the lanes, and just making sure I'm using my movement and really, really being impactful. Your SMG players are supposed to be the most aggressive players. They're supposed to be the ones opening up the damage. Sometimes you're going to have to bait for your teammates. You're going to have to be that entry player, get used to it, practice it, because Black Ops 6 is coming, and it's going to be an SMG-based game. YouTube, you guys know the drill. Drop a like. Catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Peace.